Valentine's Day just around the corner, I thought that I would show you a couple of the DIYs that I've been working on. If you want any information on how to make these projects, um, I can make a video for you guys for sure, recreating this project once again because they were so much fun that I would love to do them again. Uh, but I don't want to make them unless you guys want to see them, so make sure to leave a comment down below because I will for sure do that for y'all. Um, so the first thing that I have is just this cute little jar. What I did, did is just got a clear kind of cylinder jar from the dollar store and then I filled it with some candy hearts and then some cinnamon hearts and then a few more candy hearts on top and then this is just a little sucker that I got to put inside and I just think this is a really cute way to display some candy for Valentine's Day as well as it's almost like a centerpiece for a table or anything like that. I've been putting it on my desk and it just kind of adds a little bit of pop of color as well as if you get hungry you can sneak in and get a little candy heart and such. So I definitely recommend this. This was I think in total I paid six dollars for this whole craft because I got the little glass thing at Dollarama which I definitely recommend because vases um, I don't use the shape very often so just got it from there. So that's the first one and yeah like I said if you want to know how to make this or you want to see how I did it leave a comment down below. Honestly that's the easiest one out of all of them but yes the next one I have are these little hearts which you can see behind me oh it fell down again that's awkward I need to get better tape but they I kind of just stuck these along a long I have a long um, ribbon going from my floor to my ceiling these spread out about every foot foot and a half away from each other yeah it just fell again sorry that's not part of the craft though the craft what it was is I have these little hearts and I went and I took out all of these little edge pieces so it kind of looks a little bit like lace so see how it made a little hole there and then what I did is I took sorry um, some tissue paper and just went and crumpled it up so it made these little balls of tissue paper and then I just hot glued them onto the heart and I think that they just look really cute and crafty and they add a little bit of dimension to crafts because I find a lot of the crafts I've made are really two-dimensional kind of thing I wanted more of a three-dimensional kind of craft and I think these are really cute and super inexpensive so and they were kind of fun it was kind of relaxing sit there and roll up tissue paper and then glue them all on while watching a TV program so obviously while watching The Bachelor because <sighs> seriously guys I love me some Juan Pablo if you love Juan Pablo make sure to thumbs up this video because Juan Pablo is a god I swear like whoo. Okay, so this next one is a lipstick art that I did, and yeah, I know the heart's not perfect. First try though, and I'm really quite impressed with how it turned out. So what it is, is it is just a basic frame that I picked up, and then it has like the little border part, and on the border part, I just went and did a few little kisses, because it was just too plain with just the art in the middle, and then I wrote love with lipstick down at the bottom. And then in here, I don't know if you're going to see, it's good, there we go. I drew a heart doing different lines of different colors of lipsticks that, that I've been currently wearing. So I picked an orangish color, I picked a bubblegum pink, um, a fuchsia type color, uh, purplish and then my favorite deep red color and I just went in order and kept on drawing these lines to make this heart super easy guys and I think it's something really creative for wherever you do your makeup so this is my desk that I do my makeup so if it's on here I feel like it just adds a little element and it's more unique than something store-bought and I really really like it the next thing I have are these little animal crafts I did one for me as well as one for my sister and then I also have to make one for my brother um, I think the oldest of my sisters because I'm the oldest of four I don't know how much she's gonna want one of these but I might make her one that I have as well but for my sister I just made because she is five I want to do something kind of cartoony so I just did a cartoon owl that says I will always love you and it's blue and purple background and it's just kind of yeah, I just had fun making this one. It's just kind of a cutesy, crafty, kid-looking, like, poster. So that's that was fun. And then the one that I made for myself that I'll probably be making for my oldest of my younger sisters um, is this one, and I really like how this turned out, and it says, I love you dearly. Get it? Because it's a deer. This is probably one of my favorite decor pieces that I've made in a really long time for any holiday and I feel like I can keep this up even after Valentine's Day. Let me know down below which is your favorite uh, craft that I made as well as if you have any ideas of things that I should make. Uh, 
And if you want me to make any of these, leave a comment down below so, into a video, um, or leave a comment down below and I'll make it into a video of any of these because honestly I feel like super inexpensive. All of these things were super easy. The canvases were the most expensive part, I think, but the paint was super inexpensive. All of the frames, everything was so cheap and I like making unique decor that no one else is going to have. But anyways, I'm babbling. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day and I like this video if you liked it and if you love me dearly. <laughs> that wasn't even funny, Chantel. Why are you laughing? Um, yeah, so um, that just happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't because I'm going to be putting out a few more Valentine's Day videos as well as if you ask for any of these videos, you're going to have to be subscribed to you all to see them. So, incentives, yay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you guys have an amazing, fantastic day. It's as awesome as you are and I'll talk to you later. Bye.